Depression. When most people think of the word depression, they think of a death in the family, financial problems, a divorce. What most people don't think about is athletes. They have everything they want, most having their school paid for, the popularity, the lifestyle everyone dreams of, right? Wrong. Ever heard of Amanda Beard? How about Terry Bradshaw? No? Well then how about Ken Griffey Jr.? The thing that these athletes most had in common wasn't being star athletes, but the battle they were all fighting with depression. Depression doesn't just resonate with high pressure athletes like the ones I have mentioned. This problem resonates with collegiate athletes as well. Meet Steven Babbage, a junior on the club baseball team who was transferred to the University of Idaho from Montana who has come back to school after a medical leave due to his battle with depression in which he said affected him in all aspects of his life. It affected me on all aspects of life, uh, including the classroom, including my relationship with friends, uh, parents, uh, sports, everything, man. Um, it literally makes you just want them to stay inside your room and feel bad for, for, for yourself and not do anything about it. I didn't want them to lift. I didn't want to see friends. I literally didn't want them to, want them to do anything at all, and it sucks. Steven opened up about how his depression affected him on the field because of the face he had to put on. For, for that time, and you just fake it, you just, you have to make sure that everything is okay and just play ball, man. I mean, it sucks because it's hard because when you have all that stuff mm -hmm. in your mind and you're at and you're at bat or you're in the field or you're on the mound, you have to drop it and that's extremely hard to. Amanda Portner, who is a goalie for the Idaho soccer team and director of the Student Athlete Advisory Committee, opened up about the common misconception that athletes are supposed to be tough mentally and physically. As an athlete, you're told you need to suck it up, you need to fight through the pain, you need to keep playing. And then at some point that gets to an unhealthy standard and that makes it really hard to deal with it because you're catching it so, for, like, so much later on than what you could have. One of the ways to combat depression is to educate and talk about it, and that is just beginning to happen according to Portner. And so I think the biggest obstacle is just like talking about it and having education. Like if there's an issue, the biggest, the best way of solving it is to educate and to talk about it and to make it known throughout your community. And that's, I think, the hardest thing is that it's not talked about enough and we're getting to that point where it finally is. <laughs> This discussion, as well as many others, are only scratching the surface on the ever so guarded topic of depression. Depression has been taboo for years and it's time for that to change. The only way to fix a problem is through educated discussion and awareness. For Inside the Vandals, I'm Dylan Ladding.